Well, I'm actually not starting off the vlog or the video inside a car. I'm actually at my house. But it seems like you guys really do enjoy the trip to TJ Maxx, the trip to Marshalls, just because obviously you see like really expensive stuff for super cheap or you see brand new with stuff. You know, you just see a lot more different stuff than obviously going thrifting. And for some reason, you guys just enjoy that. Now, obviously, I try to not show you guys the same things because obviously if I show the same, same things in every video, it's going to be repetitive. It's going to be boring. It's just not going to be fun at all. So I tried to, you know, go to different TJ Maxx, go to different Marshalls and film stuff that, you know, you guys don't see in my normal TJ Maxx Marshall videos. So it's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to go up north this time. Last time we went down south to Miami. This time we're going to go up north to a place called Boca. Boca is like kind of like the richy rich or like more wealthy side of town. So I'm curious to see what stuff we find at that TJ Maxx. If we find different stuff, if we find the same stuff. I'm not really educated on how TJ Maxx and Marshalls deals with their inventory. If it's stuff that doesn't sell locally and then they ship it to them or if it's like Marshalls as a company or TJ Maxx as a company uh, buys it all from corporate and then they ship it out to all their stores around. I'm not educated, I don't know. So I'm not really sure how they get their items. Um, I'm just assuming that it's stuff that hasn't sell or old inventory or old season, last season, whatever the case may be. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com. Every purchase does help support these daily videos. Sometimes in these videos, I do find steals and deals that I pick up to try to sell to you guys. Um, you know, if I pick up something for $5, I'll probably put it on my website for $15. I'm not trying to become rich off you guys. It's kind of just a way of supporting these videos. Get a little bit extra spending cash, and you guys get a chance to, you know, purchase something that you guys don't have at your local store. So, without further ado, let's get it, guys. Look how crazy these Pumas are. It almost reminds me of the Nike Reacts. Like, super, super thin, like, breathable mesh. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. You could see my fingers through it. Super light also. Like a little air bubble. How much are they? They're only $34 here. I don't know. Liquid Cell. I don't know how much these are usually, but really reminds me of Nike Reacts. Adidas NMDs, the PK. You guys remember when they used, used to sell out and resell? Now they're only $50 sitting at Marshalls. Tons of sizes too. 11 and a half, 11 and a half, 10, 9, 10, 11, 8 and a half. So many. Those would have been fire for Colorado. You guys know I like yellow too. They have all black ones. 50 bucks. I was walking to the men's section. Just found, look at this champion. It's like cow splatter obviously it's a woman's because it's cropped but it's so sick i've never seen that before 20 bucks to reverse weave kind of cool you know i had no idea patagonia retails were so expensive so this is just like a normal like organic cotton i guess zip retail was 140 they were originally asking 70 and now they want 50. so i guess whenever i come across patagonia i should probably definitely cop because you guys i mean i copped those two the other day and you guys bought them instantly but champion little olive green zip up 20 bucks I love this color of this North Face 40 bucks retail was 80 bucks just like this half more than half zip super sick another one of these big ass coats it's so funny $150 uh, I don't even know what retail was on this thing I thought I saw a tax but I don't oh yeah right here retail was $450 $450 and then they wanted 200 now it's on sale for 150 What size is this XL? Is there a mirror around? I want to kind of try it. I don't know. Yeah, there is a mirror right there. Let me try this on real quick. I'm not even lying. This thing is so comfortable. I, if I lived in Colorado, obviously XL is too big, but if I lived in Colorado, I would try to find like a large medium and I would just wear this all day. Like you don't even need to wear pants for this. Like literally it goes down to your ankles basically. This thing is so comfortable. Insane. Champion all over like the sweatshirt t-shirt. 13 bucks. Not bad at all. Retail doesn't even say. It's reverse weave. I'm gonna hopefully find some Zara pieces, but this is one Zara piece. It's like a army button down. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's only six bucks. Original retail was forty dollars. It's kind of interesting. Lacoste four screen hoodie, original price 135. Uh TJ Maxx wanted 60 and now it's 44. Another beautiful lacrosse like crew neck. It is like burgundy with the cream, 
I said this before, but this really reminds me of the Supreme Champion. Like the Champion all over the thing. It's only $20. Uh, reverse crew neck, or reverse weave also. But it just reminds me of something that Supreme would have done. Let's see, True Religions hoodie, only 40 bucks. Retail was 80. Peeking through, we see the Ralph Lauren patch on this side. Polo Ralph Lauren, retail 148, $44. The Wilderness like fleece. Crazy Polo Ralph Lauren all over, Stars and Stripes United. Retail was 125, yellow sticker for $22. That's such a steal. And actually, I think I showed you guys the matching pants that they had at uh, the other one. This clearance section is huge though. Like that's clearance, this clearance, clearance. Over there's clearance, clearance. Like there's so much clearance over here. Wow, look at this Patagonia like fleece with the multicolored. This thing is so sick. Retail is $140 on sale for $44. Literally insane. So nice. We have seen the like the orange color with the white writing, but we haven't seen the white with the orange. It's kinda cool. Only eight dollars, yo, it's so cheap. Polo USA, little like sweatshorts. Uh, retail was $98 for 20 bucks. Super nice. The other video I showed you guys how Robert Graham is like super expensive. Like, like this is retail for $198, $40. See, so I'm saying another Robert Graham. Like, this is all filled with Robert Graham. Just crazy. These are Zara men denim, but look at it. It's like a pink color with like embroidered flowers. Cropped bottom too. Kind of unique, only 10 bucks. I don't think I would ever wear them though. Well, speaking of the matching shorts, here we go. It says 30 for 20 bucks. Original price was 85. So I've tried to find a pair of blue jeans for a while now, and honestly, I can't find it. Like, all I do is find a black pair, and that's all I have. These are kind of unique, though. Like, has, like, patchwork throughout. I'm going to try these on to see. Uh, they're Zara. Original price, I'm not sure, but they're actually on clearance for only $8. So, I mean, a pair of jeans for $8, you really can't go wrong. Um, I saw this black pair, too, for $10, but, again, I have so many black pair, I don't think I need another pair of black. I do need blue, though, so I'm going to give those a try. Never seen this before. Polo Ralph Lauren, like, denim jeans but it has like the track ribbon going down it's pretty unique 34 32 no price tag so unfortunately they're just too short like look at they're like floating i know it's like kind of the new style now like it seems like all the jeans are like cropped or like low rise but i just i don't know i'm not really feel, i mean let me try rolling them up let's see i guess with them rolled up they don't look bad at all but eh, just not my style the hunt for blue jeans continues because we're going to leave these. Now, I've been trying to find dressier clothes uh, just because, I, you know, I'm getting older. I found these Zara like gray pants. I think I'm going to try them on just to see how they look, you know, might as well. Ten bucks. I love this colorway of this Adidas uh, windbreaker style pants. Thirty bucks. Retail was ninety. Like the yellow stripes going down. Okay, so they're a tad big, like on the waist. I could probably use the belt, but to be honest, they're really nice. They're like dress style pants, but to be honest, I don't know when I'll actually use them. Like they are really nice. Obviously me wearing gray and gray doesn't match. You know, wear like a black shirt with it and black shoes or just different color contrast. I'm super gray right now, but they're pretty sick. I mean, for 10 bucks. So I just got a black shirt just to show you the color contrast. These look so much better with the black tee. This is a small though, look at my arms are popping out. Yo, I'm trying to get on that gym life so bad. It's fire though. I don't know, I'm gonna try it on. And I also found these like kind of lounging pants. I'm gonna try on those too. So after seeing what that shirt, the black shirt looked on me, it actually looked really nice, but it was a small. I literally just got it from uh, the fitting room, but I found a medium and then I found Zara kind which is like a regular like i don't really wear v-necks but i figured you know what let me just try it on because it didn't look bad on me so i'm gonna try these on real quick all right so this is the zara one i don't like it it's not tight on the arms or anything it's just not my style this is the small i think i'm gonna end up getting this it's nice tight fitted it doesn't look too small i raise my arms and it's still good it's crazy i've been wearing a small shirt in so long i used to wear like two xls 
So I decided to cop the black shirt. You see it right there. Just because, like I said, it kind of looked different. And I'm so used to wearing like 2XLs. And that shirt was like a medium or like a small medium. It said it was small, but honestly, it fit like a medium to be honest. Because I can't fit a small shirt. Like, let's be real. Like, come on. I'm like six foot, six one. Like, if I actually stand up straight, that's not happening. And yes, I saw the comments in the other day's video where you guys said, yo, the floral shirt actually looked good on you. I'm just not used to them, so obviously I was like, eh, I don't know. But I actually came to the other TJ Maxx. It was right down the street, so I figured, you know, I might as well come here. And since I got the small black shirt, I think I can try it on. So I'm going to try it on again, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a pair of jeans to try it on with it so I may get an idea of what the actual outfit will look like. Now, in the previous, like like the clip you saw last, I actually went home, made some food and everything, and I actually went and got my gym shoes, cause I'm gonna go to the gym right after this, so obviously the feet or like the shoes aren't gonna look good with the outfit, but I figured at least the jeans and the shirt will look good. So let's go in, let's hope that it's still sitting there. It was only like a day or two ago, so I'm pretty sure they should be good, but let's go see. All right, I think we found them right here. What size is this? This is a size. Oh, it's so hard to tell what size. Alright, this is the small. Oh, they have a. Oh, this is the XL. The one that I said was too big. What size is this? Small also. This is a small. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna try on this one too. But let's get these two. Let's see, I think they're all smalls, unfortunately. But let's get these two and try it on. Bring the XL just to see. Okay, so we have the three flow shirts. I just got a black pair of jeans because all I have is black jeans, so just to see what it looks like. And then I actually found these are the same shirts that I just got, but obviously in gray and white. So I'm gonna try these on too since I just got the black one. All right, you guys are right. It does look good and it's not too small. It fits perfectly, I think. So I am gonna pick this up because it does look good. Thank you. <laughs> you guys always know what's best. Here, let's do it this way, I guess. So sick. All right, so not really feeling this. Like the yellow, just, it's not a good color on me. I know the lighting in this room is super bad. You can't really tell, but it's like a super bright yellow. Like, I don't know how to show you guys. It's not good though. And this one's just way too big. If this one was a small, I would definitely probably take this one too, but this one's just way too big. This is the white shirt. I think this with the blue shorts that I got yesterday would look so good. Let's try on this gray one. Well, the sun is setting in South Florida. I did get the dress shirt. I asked for a hanger so that way I can hang it up. It doesn't get wrinkled so I can, you know, keep my dress shirts nice. But now, I'm gonna quickly head to the gym. Looking like a hot mess. I'm gonna get this workout in, get the grind in. I've actually been going to the gym basically every single day for 2020. There's maybe a day or two I've taken off. Uh, yesterday, I actually went twice a day, so, yo, know, this grind is real in 2020. The videos, the gym, the everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com purchase something, support your boy. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video and don't forget guys, let's get it.